Hey YouTube, Mark here from the Backpacking Gear Net and today I am up on Donner. I'm up at the top of one of the, the nice big lookout points and I can just see for miles and miles. It is so gorgeous up here. It is such a blessing from God for me to be able to just get out and just be out and enjoy this. And today I am going to talk about the jet boil stash. But before I do that, please hit that like button and please subscribe so that I can get this content out to more people. And let's get to it. I'll just tell you, this is a quality item and there's things that may be deal breakers for you and things that may not. Let's just go over this and, and see if it's right for you. So one of the things I like about this is for when I go with other people and I don't want to bring more than one stove, it's bigger so that I can actually cook for more than one person. So it's got this nice handle with the silicon grip that protects your hands from getting burned. Um, I like that quite a bit. You know, it's that's pretty nice. You know, it makes it so you can really pick it up if it's full and and it's going to be stable for you. I also like the fact that everything tucks inside it. And the the canister actually hooks to the lid. The stove goes in here and you have this foot. Everybody knows about the foot when it comes to jet boils. And there's another thing I like is with this stove, you have a nice wide burner on it that really helps increase the efficiency for an even cook. I bet this would probably work well for a pan, but in the future I'll get a pan and give it a try. But the other thing I like is you see all these little nubs here and this little indentation right there. The pot actually will sit on there and it it's it's not locked in but it's not going to slip off or fall off so it's really stable that way and i really like that about this um this doesn't have an igniter that's most likely one way they save weight which means you need to bring your trusty lighter with you and I always try to bring two in case I lose one or something goes wrong. I, I like to have two fire sources, but um, all in all, it's a really nice stove. It's not as easy to control the, the level of the flame as I was hoping, but you know, I feel like with my BRS, and I don't know if it's just because I've used it for so long, but I feel like it's easier for me to control the flame on that. But um, I'm sure once I kind of get used to this, I'll kind of figure out how to get it how I like it, which, which will work really well. Um, the other thing is with the bottom of their pots, they take and they put these reverse heat sinks on it so basically instead of it taking the heat from it and dissipating it in this case the heat after it hits and it spreads it will actually heat these fins up and that helps heat the contents inside a lot more easy and a lot more efficient so that's a really nice thing about it so let's get into some of the the things that might be cons for you um, it's heavier than what I normally carry, um, so much so that it's, it's literally double the weight. But the nice thing about the stash is the other jet boils that are out there are very heavy and the stash is much lighter. So they, they really are trying to create something that's a balance between being light and being efficient and high quality. So... So I don't know that the weight is a deal breaker for everybody. And then the other thing is with their markings on the side, you probably can't even see them in the video. There, let me get 
get them at the right angle, but they're, they're not that easy to read. I'm actually probably going to put my own markings on here so, so that it's easier for me to read because I've noticed that um, in the evening, even with my headlamp, um, I have to try a little extra hard. And, and plus, as you can see, I wear glasses and my eyes are a little bit older. So I have to like get down in my, my um, bifocal so I can really see it. So that could be something I think they could improve. The other thing is um, the weight that they tell you this is, is not really correct in my opinion. And they actually, they actually tell you, like if you look at the fine print, they actually tell you that the, um, the weight that they give you is not with all the stuff. So in order to get the correct weight, I need to just have the stove and just have the pot. Know that that's that big of a deal. And I will, I will show you, um, cause I'll film when I get home, I'll show you what stuff is on the scale and everything so that you can see something that's way more accurate than what I'm saying right now. But all in all, I think this is a great pot. You can take the handle off pretty easily and put it back on because all you got to do is squeeze these together. Um, it'd be neat if like they, they made a handle that was light because this has actually got a significant amount of weight to it. So it'd be neat if they made a handle that was light that we could have as an option for this. And then the other thing that, that I wish they would do is for the price of this, I wish they would give you a little stuff sack to put it in because the lid does not snap on. And even when I put all of the stuff in it, which I'm doing right now, even when I put all the stuff in it, and this is closed on here. I thought that would keep everything from falling out, but it doesn't. It falls out pretty easily, as you can see. I didn't even have to like do that or anything. It just falls out. That doesn't stop anything. The lid doesn't snap on. So it would be nice if they had like a little bag for it so that, that you know, it won't fall apart in your backpack because mine does. And so, I have a bunch of little stuff sacks, so that's not a problem for me, but it just seems like for the price, they could have just included a little stuff sack for it. That way it'd make it a lot better. So I hope all this information has been helpful for you. And would I buy this again? Yes, I would buy this again. It may not be the pot I take on every single adventure, but for the right trips and the right adventures, this would be a great pot to have. So. I am not sad that I bought this and I spent my money on this. So if you like this content and it's helpful for you in making decisions for products, please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.